Hello guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons with me, Alex Fu, and... Well, last time we learned that the Pegasus Seeds can give us that extra boost of speed we need when using Rock's Feather to cross gaps. These are the guys I hate, because they'll always jump out of the way right before you need to hit them. And especially when they're, they're paired up with those guys, because they'll just slow you down, they'll home in on you, they're, they'll rape your face, and then... Whoa, 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 whoa. I did not mean that. No, I didn't mean that. They will just completely annihilate you. And now remember which item we'll get in this dungeon. Because <laughs> as you might have been able to see, which of course you were able to see, because it wasn't that hard to see at all, we're going to need those ember, ember seeds because we're going to be getting an item quite soon that will help us hit those torches that were off the, off the, uh, the, 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 the tracks. And, believe it or not, this is actually another very useful item. Ah, which gets a little more useful later in the game, if I remember correctly, but not terribly so, because... Aha! Can you see... Th can you see through my power? Alright, so basically this guy has, I believe, three copies of him... Oh, no, we want it to... Right. has three copies of himself. We need to light these torches. Yes, I know this torch needs lighting, that's why I'm trying to light it. And when he stops, the torches will show the shadow under him like it just did. Without the torches, how, ow, how, ow, ever. You cannot tell which one's the right one. He's basically... I'm trying to remember what those ow... Magician birds are in Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, what they're called. Well, they're in all the games, aren't they? Ah, no, that was the right one! We didn't even need to buy Ember Seeds, what the hell. Alright. Well, we're low on health, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna... I'm gonna wait... Ow. I'm gonna wait until he disappears, light these torches. No! And then do it. Get! 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 No, 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 no! I can't, I can't hit him while he, unless the torches are fully lit. That's, that's bullcrap. Come on, die already! All right, let's dodge this. Let's dodge this. Okay. All right, all right. So I'm gonna wait and then dodge it. Die, die! He's dead. Okay, that was much closer than I wanted it to be. All right, and I believe after this we actually get the item pretty quick. So. I hate you guys, you can die, you can go die in a fire. In fact, later on you will go and die in a fire because I'll have an item that lets me kill you in a fire. Oh, oh crap. Okay, good, we can do that. And we need to hit the bitches switch. So we need to go this way. Well, I want to go this way. Alright, these guys are much like the green guys we met earlier, because they'll just stand still and shoot in basically the, the closest direction that you're... you're they'll, they'll shoot as close as they can to where you are. However, they will change where they are standing once they disappear, unlike the other guys who will just burrow underground then pop back up in a few seconds. Ow! Why did I just run into you instead of... Well, you know... Ah! Oh, no, 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 I'm not gonna die. You know what? I should really be using Rock's Feather for this. Why am I not? Because I'm an idiot, that's why. But then we've already established that with a bunch of the other episodes. How stupid I can be. Um... Ah! A heart! That is very useful. Thank you, game. Ah, a heart. Thank you, game. My voice cracked while I was saying that. Oh, but... Ooh, I hate these guys, too. Ah, uh, because these are the... I, I can't remember. Those laser eye guys from... Link to the Past. And these guys, unfortunately, you can't destroy. The best you can do is... Dodge them. I thought the shield could block it, but I guess not. Nope. You're not gonna get me. Ow. Okay, you got me. Fine. But you know what? I'm going downstairs because 
I need to dodge these guys and kill them with a boomerang. Boomerang, best weapon in the game. Well, not this game, but it usually is the best weapon in a Zelda game. I learned that from an Irishman. <laughs> oh, but anyway. Anyway, anyway, anyway. I could stop saying anyway, because I say that five billion times in a row. We can't go anywhere yet. That owl statue will just tell us we can't go anywhere yet, and then we'll be like, oh, we can't go anywhere yet? How, how, how disappointing is that? Because we weren't actually able to suppose we weren't actually supposed to be able to hit that switch. I don't think. Well, ah, no. We don't want to trap you in front of the block because then we'll never get anything done. I believe we're supposed to go into this room. It's one of these rooms. Well, we'll find out, won't we? Just switch back to Rock's Feather because of all the pitfalls. Yeah, okay. I see what we're supposed to do here. This is also another room that we are not going to be able to get into yet. One of these movable, at least. Oh, we need the boomerang for these guys now, don't we? Because otherwise we'll never get them. At least we have those blocks in the way, though. That makes it a little... It, that makes it a little more... easy, I guess. Crap, am I supposed to do then? Ah, I'm, I'm standing like right behind the block. You can't sh You're not supposed to be able to shoot me through it. Fuh. We need a key. Oh, I hope I didn't screw us over in this episode because if I used a key before I was supposed to, then I screwed us in this episode. Well, we'll just see what other rooms we can go into then. There was one more off the boss room anyway. As I take a sip of my tasty beverage. Oh no, this guy just tells us, um... What does he tell us? What you seek is in the eye. Yeah, he just tells us, um... The hints about how to fight the boss. So, it's not that useful. Okay. Oh, no. Because you know what? It's doing the whole first Legend of Zelda thing. This thing is in the shape of a dancing dragon. What we seek is in the eye. That room right up there. So that tells us actually where we're getting the item in this game. You see, I'm 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 really stupid when it comes to Legend of Zelda games. I actually never understood ow half the hints that they would give a give me in this game. Like Oh, what you're seeking is in the eye, which means go to the eye of the dragon that you can see on the map. I never, I wouldn't, I never got that. I would just thought he was being an idiot. Because <laughs> I, I never put two and two together that like, oh, like the the half moon dungeon is literally a half moon dungeon. That this dancing dungeon dancing dragon dungeon is literally a dancing dragon. I never I never put two and two together that they were trying to tell me where the things were. Because, well, like, like I'm saying five thousand times, I'm an idiot. No. Because... It was just hard. <laughs> I mean... It didn't look... I did... I never... Took a look at the map. Just take a look. It's in a book. A reading rainbow of hate. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let's not die. Is there anything back here that we can use? Ah. No, it doesn't look like it. Oh well. Die. Bye bye. Jump in. Well, what else do we have up here? Maybe we can- maybe we can find another thing. Oh, wait. Were we even supposed to go this way? Oh, yeah, we were. Because, like I said, these light legs are, like, not to my liking. No, no, no. Okay, that's what I wanted to do. And we get a small key. 
Okay, that's what I was thinking about. You do have to dive down to get that one. Any hearts, any hearts, any hearts. That would be nice. Nope. Nope. I got a rupee, though. <laughs> like I said, we're just gonna be swimming in rupees later in the game. Because they just don't... They... Take as... They take their sweet time with giving you hearts in this game. But they give you so many goddamn rupees. I mean, we're not... We're not even half... How do... You can die for that, thank you very much. Ow! You can die for that. I'm just trying to be a nice guy. I was just gonna walk right through here, leave you Death Eaters to do what you do, doing your doing business doing. But you have to come up and be like, hey, I got a sword, and I can use it too. And you know what I'm gonna do with it? I'm gonna stab you right in the quarter heart. And you're gonna die. And you're gonna... You're gonna so, come so so close to dying. <laughs> what are we at? Almost time. Okay. Okay, I think I can... I think... No, I can't. Because there's spike pits up ahead. Oh. Sorry, I'm tr I should watch my language. I- I am not trying to swear. But... Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> Janet? I hate that movie, but... Anyway... Don't die! Don't fall! Take that! Oh. We lived. <laughs> this time. Let's see if we can live past the next part. Not in here, but thank god. We've got pots to break. Ember seed, don't care. Hard. That hard. Thank you, old man. Thank you, old man. I will love you. I will love you long time. Five dollar. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hearts, we are almost full health. Oh my goodness, full health. How, how spoiled we are. And with that, guys, I think I'm gonna leave you... Whoa. For a second I thought I used an Ember Seed, but it's my boomerang. Alright, guys, for that's... That there. For now, I think I'm gonna leave you with... This has been Let's Play Legend... Ooh, I can use the sword and the boomerang at the same time. This has been Let's Play Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons with Mio Xpoo. And next time we'll continue through the Dancing Dungeon Dragon, and hopefully... We'll get farther. Take it easy, guys. See?